A supermoon is an attractive sight in the night sky. It may put on a stunning show for stargazers since it seems bigger and brighter than a usual full moon. Supermoons are moons that appear larger than usual because they are at their closest point in their orbit to Earth, where their gravitational attraction is strongest. All of the numerous kinds of supermoons go by different names, and each one is unique in its own way. We'll go over some of the supermoons that are most prevalent and discuss what makes them special in this video. Watch on to discover with us. Let's start by defining a supermoon. A phenomenon that happens when a full moon coincides with the moon's closest approach to Earth in its orbit is referred to as a supermoon in recent times. The moon appears larger and brighter than normal during this hour, giving sky watchers an amazing spectacle. But I'm sure you're asking why. Compared to other phases of its orbit, the moon comes closer to Earth during one phase and then moves much farther away during another. Although it has long been believed that the moon revolves around the globe in a perfect circle, this is not actually the case. Actually, the moon's orbit has an oval or somewhat elliptical shape. This indicates that the moon is around 30,000 miles, 48,280 kilometers, closer to the Earth when it is at its closest point, or perigee, than when it is at its furthest point, or apogee. When the moon is seen from Earth, its apparent size and brightness are impacted by its elliptical orbit. Simple but intriguing parentheses, the Sun and other celestial bodies' gravitational pulls are to blame for this tiny departure from a complete circle. These bodies have the ability to change the orbit of the moon, making it slightly elliptical. The moon's orbit around the planet can also be affected by the Earth's own gravitational pull. The moon is at perigee during a supermoon, which is when it is closest to Earth. When it is at its furthest point from Earth, or apogee, it is visible to be around 15% bigger and 30% brighter than a full moon. Even if the difference in size and brightness cannot be seen with the unaided eye, it still puts on a magnificent display. About twice or three times a year, when the moon is full and at its closest point, a supermoon can be observed. The supermoon is best seen when it is low on the horizon, depending on the weather, as this is when its spectacular size and brilliance will be most obvious. It's preferable to locate yourself somewhere with a good view of the horizon in all directions, such a high hill or perhaps the beach, to further enhance the experience. The following supermoon will take place on July 3rd. The night before the 4th of July fireworks will be a hellish couple of days for the sky, so be sure not to miss it. Let's go over the many kinds of supermoons. Let's begin with the most well-known. Blood Moon One kind of supermoon is a blood moon. In the night sky, this results in a strikingly huge and dazzling moon. The moniker Blood Moon refers to the moon's potential appearance during such an event, which can produce some absolutely magnificent pictures. A lunar eclipse basically has a blood moon during it. This occurs when the moon and sun are perfectly lined up, preventing the moon from receiving sunlight from the sun normally. The moon appears white and bright, but during a lunar eclipse, it appears to have recently been painted reddish. This is due to the fact that air molecules in our atmosphere scatter some of the blue light from the sun. The moon's lovely sun-kissed glow is created by the moon's reflection in the residual light, which is primarily red. Atmospheric factors including dust storms, wildfire smoke, volcanic ash, and levels of air pollution can all have an effect on how red something seems. As the moon, earth, and sun must precisely line up for the eclipse to take place, blood moons only happen about once every two years. Although this frequency only typically occurs once every three years, there have been exceptions, including in 2022 when there were two blood moons in one year. The following one is anticipated to occur in 2025. Keep an open mind. Don't stress too much about missing a red moon if you know one is coming up. Up to three and a half hours can pass during a total lunar eclipse. The total lunar eclipse with the greatest duration ever seen lasted for roughly 100 minutes. 
The blue moon is the other type. We've all heard the phrase once in a blue moon to indicate something that only occasionally occurs, such as going to the gym, we all know how lazy you are. Anyway, this is to argue that this statement isn't made up because a blue moon happens infrequently. When two full moons occur in the same month, it is known as a blue moon. A blue moon, while not technically a super moon, still makes for a striking spectacle because it appears bigger and brighter than usual. A full super moon only happens about once per blue moon, which happens about every 2.7 years on average. This can also happen when there are four full moons in a season, but this is far less common. It only happens roughly once every three years. Why then do we observe a second moon in this instance? It would take 354 days to complete 12 full lunar cycles because the moon's phases require 29.5 days to complete. Basic mathematics, however, this does not equal a year, which has 365 or 366 days. Herein lies the role of the blue moon. A blue moon, the 13th full moon, occurs every two and a half years. This makes room for the additional 11 or 12 days required to complete a year. Due to their rarity, blue moons are frequently connected to important occasions and festivity. Sometimes people mark a milestone with a special item in the hopes that their goals and ambitions may come true. A blue moon can be a unique occasion, whether you're trying to make a wish or just taking the chance to stop and appreciate a glimpse of exceptional beauty. The next one will be on August 30th, 2023, if you want to see what it looks like in person. Bring a small pair of binoculars and head outside to observe it. Those binoculars might not even be necessary. The Harvest Moon When the full moon is closest to the autumnal equinox, or the first day of fall, a harvest moon occurs. Equinox is a seasonal event that occurs twice a year. It's as if the sun is giving us a giant embrace on the day of the equinox because it is directly overhead. It serves as a way to usher in a new season since the first equinox occurs in the spring and the second one in the fall. It surely has a warm, inviting feel. The moon rises sooner in the evening due to this phenomena, appearing bigger and brighter than usual. On September 29, 2023, if you glance up at the sky, you will undoubtedly notice how large it is, especially as it rises over the horizon. Remember the date. Farmers relied on the moon's light to harvest their crops at night in the fields until Thomas Edison invented electric light bulbs in 1879. The large, brilliant full moon that occurs in the fall is especially useful since it illuminates the fields like a spotlight. They used it as a signal to begin harvesting their crops. And here is the tale of how the name Harvest Moon came to be. The pink moon is the last occurrence. This kind of super moon happens when the full moon is closest to the spring equinox, just like the harvest moon rises in time for autumn. Additionally, compared to all the other full moons we view each month, it appears bigger and brighter. Similar to how the blue moon isn't actually blue, the pink moon doesn't actually have a pink hue. However, it got its name from the lovely pink flowers that bloom in the spring and the vibrant vitality that goes with that color. The following pink moon will take place on April 6, 2023. Make sure you don't miss it. If you're lucky, there is one circumstance when you can notice the pink color. However, you might not feel so lucky once you learn what the ailment is. The moon may appear somewhat pinkish or very faintly reddish when there is a lot of air pollution in the sky. However, it's not exactly good news for our environment and health, is it? We have now completed our examination of the many categories of supermoons. The supermoon has something to offer everyone, whether they are looking for a thrilling experience or simply want to enjoy the beauty of an astronomical event. Keep a lookout for the following supermoon and get ready to be mesmerized. It would make the ideal date if you have a partner. Thanks for watching and keep checking back for additional episodes. Like and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on all the interesting information about us that you may otherwise miss.